If you are looking for where to stay in Vietnam, you're in the right place. In this video, I will show you the 14 best places to stay in Vietnam for tourists. Let's get straight into the list. Number 1. Ho Chi Minh City Ho Chi Minh City is one of the best places to stay in Vietnam, especially for first-timers and those who want vibrant nightlife. It is also a great base to explore other cities in South Vietnam, such as Da Lat, Nhe Trang, and Pu Quoc. Ho Chi Minh City has an international airport located only seven kilometers away from the city center. From Tan Son Hot Airport, you can easily catch a taxi or grab to get to your hotel in District 1 and District 3. The city center is easily explored on foot and by using grab. I recommend spending at least two to three days in Ho Chi Minh City to explore popular attractions, try local food, do some shopping, and enjoy the nightlife. You can visit attractions like the War Remnants Museum, Independence Palace, Ben Thon Market, Tien Hao Pagoda, Bui Vien Walking Street, and Nguyen Hue Walking Street. You can take day trips to Kuchi Tunnels and the Mekong Delta. The best areas to stay in Ho Chi Minh City for first-time visitors are District 1 and District 3. These are the most central locations in the city for tourists, offering easy access to major attractions and amenities. Additionally, you can find hotels in Chinatown, District 5, for a more local atmosphere, and Thao Dien, District 2, for an international vibe. These areas are a bit further from the heart of the action, so I think it is best suited for those who have special needs and don't mind traveling to get to the city center. Some of the best hotels in Ho Chi Minh City are the Reverie, Park Hyatt, Caravelle, La Vela Saigon, Sheraton, and Intercontinental. Number 2. Hanoi Hanoi is the cultural capital of Vietnam and is the best place in Vietnam to explore the traditional side of the country. Additionally, Hanoi is a great base for exploring North Vietnam. You can easily take day trips and overnight trips to famous destinations like Halong Bay, Ninh Binh, Sapa, and Ha Giang. Hanoi has an international airport, located 30 kilometers away from the city center. From the airport, you can get to the old quarter easily by taxi and grab. Once in the city center, you can easily get around on foot and by grab. Usually, two to three days is enough to see major sights of the city, enjoy the food and nightlife. The best way to explore Hanoi is just wandering around the old quarter, observing local life, going shopping, and people watching. Popular places of interest in Hanoi are Huan Kim Lake, Ta Hin Beer Street, Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, Hoa Lo Prison, Thang Long Imperial Palace, St. Joseph's Cathedral, and Westlake. Hanoi Old Quarter is the most popular place to stay in Hanoi for first-time visitors due to its central location and authentic atmosphere. This is the tourist heart of the city, where you'll be surrounded with many restaurants, cafes, bars, and shops. You can consider staying around the West Lake in Taeho District. This area is the expat hub of Hanoi and has a quieter atmosphere compared to the hustle and bustle of the old town. Some of the best hotels in Hanoi are Rex Hotel, Sofidal Legend Metropole Hanoi, and Capella Hanoi. Number 3. Da Nang Da Nang is the main city in central Vietnam and is one of the best places to stay in Vietnam for beaches. It is also the most livable city in Vietnam due to its affordable cost of living, stunning beaches, warm climates, and clean environment. In addition to the white sandy beaches, Da Nang has a beautiful Han River running through the heart of the city and offering lots of activities along its banks. The fire show around 9 p.m. on Dragon Bridge is a must-see attraction on the weekend. The best areas to stay in Da Nang are either Han Riverfront in the city center or the Mi K Beachfront area. In my opinion, Han Riverside is the best location for first-time visitors because it offers more authentic experience and good-priced restaurants and cafes compared to the beach area. And Thuong is also a good area for an international atmosphere. It is within walking distance to the beach, and it is best suited for long-term travelers. You can find lots of small apartments and hotels in this area. If you want to explore Da Nang itself, two, three days is enough to enjoy the beaches and visit major sites like Bana Hill, Dragon Bridge, Marble Mountain, Lin Ung Pagoda, Han Market, and Sun Tra Night Market. 
If you use Da Nang as a base to explore central Vietnam, you can spend extra days doing day trips to Hoi An, Hue, Cham Islands, Hai Van Pass, and Mi Sun Sanctuary. Number 4. Hoi An. Hoi An is a popular tourist destination in central Vietnam, located only 40 kilometers from Da Nang. It is known for its ancient town, beautiful beaches, delicious food scene, and custom-made clothing. The two main best areas to stay in Hoi An are the Old Town and the Beach Area. I personally think Hoi An Old Town is the best base for first-time visitors. This area offers a more authentic atmosphere and is at its best at night when all the lanterns are lit up. And Bang and Kwa Dai Beach are popular beaches in Hoi An, located 10-minute car drive from the ancient town. You can rent a bicycle and explore the whole city if you are an active traveler. Just be mindful of the hot weather though, drink a lot of water, and wear a hat. The best things to do in Hoi An Old Town is probably just wandering around, searching for good restaurants for meals, finding good tailors for custom-made clothing, taking nice photos, and getting lost. You can spend one day or two exploring most parts of the town. I walked through different areas of Hoi An within a day, including the Old Town. Number 5. Pu Quoc. Phu Quoc is a popular island located south of Vietnam, only one hour flight from Ho Chi Minh City. It is a great destination for beach vacation with lots of five-star luxury resorts. Additionally, you can explore several cultural attractions, visit pearl farms, fish sauce factories, and take the ride on the world's longest three-wire cable car through the ocean. In my opinion, Duong Dong and Long Beach are the best areas in Phu Quoc for first-time visitors especially if you want to be in the central location, with easy access to many tourist amenities. For a quieter atmosphere, Ong Lang Beach is a great area. It is located just north of Duong Dong Town. If you want to stay on the East Coast in an all-inclusive resort like New World Resort or JW Marriott, Phu Quoc has an international airport and is only a 45 minutes flight from Ho Chi Minh City. Once on the island, you can get around by renting a motorbike, take a guided tour, or hire a private driver. You can relax at the beach, enjoy swimming, sunbathing, water sports, and island hopping. There are also many nice beach bars where you can enjoy the sunset and the nightlife. I recommend spending at least three to four days in Phu Quoc to explore the island. Major points of interest in Phu Quoc are Pearl Farm, Ho Quoc Pagoda, Sao Beach, Phu Quoc Prison, Sunset Town, and Starfish Beach. Number 6. Hue. Hue is a must-see city in central Vietnam, especially for history buffs. It is the ancient capital of Vietnam, known for its old imperial palace, royal tombs, and proximity to popular attractions such as Hai Van Pass, Hoi An, and Bac Ma National Park. You can spend a day in Hue to explore the citadel, Tien Mu pagodas, and several royal tombs such as Minh Mong, Kai Din, and Tu Duc. The nightlife in Hue is quite lovely. You can find many bars and clubs on its walking street on Vo Thi Sao Street. Hue is known for its regional dishes like Bun Bo Hue and Hue Cake, so be sure to try these foods while in town. The best area to stay in Hue for first-timers and tourists is Hue City Center, particularly Phu Hoi Ward. This area is the tourist hub of the city where you can find many tourist amenities. There are clusters of hotels and homestays along Guyan Kong True Street and its small alleyways. Number 7. Da Lat. Da Lat is one of my favorite destinations in Vietnam. It is located in the highland center of Vietnam, offering cool climate, impressive waterfalls, and peaceful atmosphere. You can spend two to three full days in Da Lat to see major attractions. In the city center, you can check out Xuan Huang Lake, Crazy House, Bao Dai Palace, Dalat Cable Car, and Lin Fuak Pagoda. You can consider taking the three waterfall tours, which will take you to Datanla Waterfall, Pongor Waterfall, and Elephant Waterfall. This tour also includes a visit to a coffee plantation, Silk Factory, Van Thanh Flower Village, and Lin An Pagoda. You can enjoy delicious food at many restaurants, check out nice trendy cafes, get lost among narrow slopes, and enjoy the nightlife at many bars and at the Dalat Night Market. The most popular place to stay in Dalat is the city center around the night market. 
accommodations in Dalat, in my opinion, are quite expensive and basic compared to other parts of Vietnam. Number 8. Nha Trang. Nha Trang is a popular beach destination in South Vietnam. It is known for its beautiful beaches, delicious seafood, healing mud baths, and luxury beachfront resorts. Nha Trang City Center, particularly the area around Tran Pu Beach, is the best place to stay in Nha Trang for the first time. This is because it offers easy access to the beach and tourist facilities such as restaurants, bars, shops, and several cultural attractions. You can consider staying in Han Tre Island, which is also a popular place to stay in Nha Trang for families and couples. It is home to two major resorts, Vinpearl and Marriott. It is connected with the mainland by cable car or speedboat. In my opinion, two to three days is the minimum amount of time to explore major sites of Nhi Trang. You can spend a day sightseeing and explore cultural attractions such as Nhi Trang Cathedral, Dam Market, Ponagar Cham Tower, and Long Sun Pagoda. Other activities are island hopping, taking mud baths, swimming, snorkeling, and diving. You can find many fresh and affordable seafood restaurants in Nha Trang. Number 9. Mui Ne. Mui Ne is a popular place to visit in Vietnam for beaches, sand dunes, and warm weather. It is located only three to four hours by bus ride from Ho Chi Minh City. Mui Ne is a small town. You can easily explore most attractions within a day or two. Popular places to visit in Mui Ne are the White Sand Dunes, the Red Sand Dunes, Mui Ne Fishing Village, Ferry Stream, Po Shanu Cham Towers, and Taku Mountain. Moi Ni is also known for its beaches and seafood, so you can enjoy beach activities such as swimming and windsurfing. There are many nice beach bars and restaurants to check out, like Pineapple Beach Bar and Dong Vui Food Court. Moi Ni has a wide range of accommodations for all budgets. Most hotels and resorts are concentrated along Nguyen Din Chieu and Huynh Thuc Kong Streets in the Ham Tien area. Number 10. Ha Long Bay. Ha Long Bay is one of the top tourist destinations in Vietnam. Known for its towering limestone karsts rising dramatically from the ocean, it is located only three to four hours drive by car from Hanoi. The best way to explore Ha Long is taking an overnight cruise. Number 11. Ninh Bin. Ninh Bin is a popular destination in North Vietnam conveniently located only two hours' drive from Hanoi Old Quarter. Known as He Long on land, Ninh Binh is famous for its limestone carts, but on land instead of on the sea like He Long Bay. If you take a day trip to Ninh Binh, but the best way to explore it is to spend at least one night here. You can take a boat ride on either Trang An or Tam Kok. Trang An is the more famous one, other popular places to visit are Hang Mua Caves, Bai Din Pagoda, Hoa Lu Ancient Town. You can rent a bicycle or motorbike to explore the countryside and the rice field. At night, you can enjoy the nightlife at many bars on the main road of Tam Kok, try local food, and have a good massage. Tam Kok is the most popular place to stay in Ninh Binh. This area is packed with tourist facilities, restaurants, supermarkets tour agencies, and massage shops. You can stay in hotels, homestay, and guest houses. Many of them are family and eco-friendly. Number 12. Sapa. Sapa is a famous mountainous area in North Vietnam, located five to six hours from Hanoi. It is well connected by trains and sleeper buses. Sapa has cool weather, stunning rice terraces, waterfalls, and a rich diversity of ethnic groups. Sapa, in my experience, is a great destination for a retreat and for enjoying outdoor activities such as trekking and hiking. You can check out Hill Tribe Villages, Fansipan Mountain, and many local markets. The most popular area to stay in Sapa is the town center. You'll be close to everything here, including restaurants, main square, markets, and shops. Number 13. Queen Yon. Queen Yon is a lesser-known destination for foreign tourists but a popular beach holiday for local people. It is a good stop between Nha Trang and Da Nang. The best thing to do in Quignon is probably the beaches. You can enjoy swimming, snorkeling, and diving. Major attractions in Quignon are Kiko, Eozo, Neon Li Fishing Village, 
Lin Fong, Ong Nui Temple, and Thap Doi Cham Tower. Most of the popular attractions are located outside of the city center, and it is best to have a motorbike rental, private driver, or guided tour. Unlike major cities in Vietnam, it can be difficult to find grab outside of Queen Yon city center. Number 14. Ha Giang Loop. Ha Giang is a must-see destination in North Vietnam for nature lovers and adventurers. It is a beautiful mountainous area located near the border with China and is seven hours drive from Hanoi. The best way to explore Ha Giang is by motorbike. Take note that the road is very windy and dangerous, so make sure that you are an experienced and confident driver to drive by yourself. I did a four days, three nights Ha Giang loop with an easy rider and absolutely loved it. Accommodations here are in the form of small hotels, guest houses, homestays, and hostels. You can stay in popular areas such as Hajiang City Center, Dujia, Dongvan, and Quan Ba. These are my list of the 14 best places to stay in Vietnam for tourists. Check out my website vietnamwherestay.com for more details of the best hotels in each city in Vietnam. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this.